Okay, here's a walkthrough of Castlevania for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And this is going to cover the first six stages, or you can think of it as the first two levels. I'm just swiping at the altars here so I can get my whip upgraded, and I can get some hearts before I get too far in a level. And I jump over the entrance here and there's a treasure that pops up, but I don't get it to save some time. The rest of this whole uh, toboggle here is just to whap at these hags and whap at the candles to get some cash and more hearts. Watch out for the panthers by just letting them run past you while you jump over them. It's the easiest way. You probably end up saving yourself more, uh, more, more hit points than if you actually try to whap at them. While you're going up the stairs here, just keep whapping up those hags there and going up the stairs. It's the easiest way. If you had a stopwatch here, there's a glitch you can you can activate by making that bat wait. And then you could jump over this thing here. But anyways, I open it up and I get the little meat there by swiping at the wall. I go down the stairs here. I try to get some extra candle power here, but I miss most of the candles. <laughs> as good as my aim is. Then I go up the stairs, and then I go up another set of stairs, and I jump over a ledge here to get to the next door. And we're on the stage three. I don't know why this, why they're divided into stages. Usually they divide them up into levels, but oh well, whatever. And I hit that one specific candle there so I can get the axe. And then I whap at the stairs so I can get the two so that way I can throw two items at once. And then I just toss two uh, axes. It's just faster that way. A lot faster. Then I get the red orb. And the stage is done. Ugh, that painful heart noise. That's the worst one. Alright, so now we're on to stage 4, level 2. And I swipe at that first candle so I can get the boomerang. I always thought it was a cross, but it's a boomerang. So then, I use the boomerang here so I can knock out the bat and most of the candles without having to jump at each and one of them and swipe at them. Plus, it just saves time, and I hate having that bat knock me off. Got some more hearts, because you're going to continually want more hearts. Now, here's where it gets tricky. A little bit tricky. There's some stuff here and there. Uh, just keep throwing the boomerang so that way you can get everything done. Watch out for that one window with the candle, because that one always has that knife there, and I'll totally screw up your plans later in the level. So just be aware of it. Now here I execute a glitch with the Medusa head. Now you want the Medusa head to come at you, and you jump up there, and it'll, yeah, it'll just toss you right up there. No problem. And it's no problem, because look, you'll be able to get some good old-fashioned pork chop in the wall. There we go. Actually, in a step, whatever you want to call it. Now with these, uh, these falling, these falling daggers, just look out for them. Just wait until they get to the bottom of their travel, and then when you got enough room to get by, just go up it. Now with these, I like to use the boomerang because I can get two hits and I can stay well enough out of the clear of it. But I messed up, and this is where I waste a little bit of time. But it doesn't matter. I killed him without having to... Or, or at least I killed the second one without having to swipe at it with my whip. I go up the stairs. And here's where that boomerang becomes even better. Use that. And I'll get all the candles for you and you won't have to worry about it. And you get the number three if you had the number two earlier. So that even makes it easier for this stage. So here we go. The Medusa. Just toss those boomerangs at her. I think it's a her. Whatever. I hate for it to be a man. Oh well, whatever. So just toss three boomerangs at her at a time and she'll die instantaneously almost. 
There you go. That's the end of the stage. Enjoy.